Tell me, do you build? You will. Hi, welcome to the channel and today we're going to build my PC. So finally I've got all the parts of my future PC, so let's build it. For CPU we've got the Ryzen 3700X with the stock cooler. The motherboard is from MSI, it's B450, mortar titanium. It has very good VRMs, they are the same as the B450 Tomahawk, probably the best B450 motherboard. For graphics we've got the RX 580 from Sapphire, it's the 4GB model. The GPU is used, I've got it from eBay for $90. For memory we've got 16 gigs of Corsair LED, don't get confused with the box. The memory is also used, also from eBay for $60, the SSD is from Gigabyte. For power supply we've got the Seasonic Focus Gold 650 watts, uh, it's uh, gold certified, also semi-modular. I've got some sleeve cables from Cooler Master and the case is uh, Inwin 101, it has a uh, tempered glass. I've got this for free, it came with the, with the case, it's from Milwin and it's a headset hanger. I guess it will match with my headset, so we'll see. Something I realized recently is that every part is from different brand. We've got motherboard from MSI, we've got the mouse from Asus, we've got some cheap headset from Maxwell, Maxil, Ma Ma Maxil. <laughs> We've got keyboard from Cougar, the power supply from Seasonic, sleeve cables from Cougar Master, the GPU is from Sapphire, memory from Corsair of course, the SSD is from Gigabyte and the CPU is from AMD and the case is in Win. Did I miss something? And the monitor is from ALC. I will leave links with the parts in the description, so if you wanna buy them from Amazon or you already know everything about the parts, so let's build it. I've got the parts that we need for the beginning, we've got the motherboard, we've got the memory, we've got the CPU and we've got the SSD. So let's start with the motherboard. There is a slight problem, since I asked the merchant to install the latest BIOS, they added brackets the opposite way, so... So I have to unscrew them and mount them the right way. I have to clean up the CPU and then I'm going to install the cooler. Very nice box. <laughs> Look at that. Done. So, we've got the memory, we've got the CPU and the cooler, we've got the M.2. Let's move to the case. I'll shoot this opened and I'm going to install it in the case, on the back side of the case. The I.O. shield should go here. And it's supposed to be facing with the audio ports at the bottom. 
and let's see how hard it is to install it. I guess it's done. We have to install these standoffs because the motherboard is micro ATX. Obviously you have four like this pre-installed. They're coming with a case and I just needed to put one here, one here, one here and one here for the micro ATX form factor. better this way so the motherboard is installed I had to screw here 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 uh, and over the top here, over there, and over there, and two on the side. The IO shield is installed. It looks like this. So, yep, everything looks good so far. I will remove this later. So right now we'll move to the other side of the case and install the power supply. So what is this? This is SATA, probably for the LED lights at the front. I will put that later. We've got the power and the reset and the HDD over here we've got the front HD audio we've got the front USB and we don't have restart we have only turn on and shut down we don't have restart so yeah that's all User menu, a pack for cables, I guess. More zip ties, they are nice. I have plenty from the case, but anyway, the power cable. So, let's see what we got here. It smells like new. Okay, I'm impressed. Looking good. We have to connect the power switch and the HD LED on the motherboard. So we have to consider something. Do you see those arrows? They are the ground. So they should be facing like this. The front, front HD audio, which is over here at the bottom. Yep. So heavy. I have four PCI extension cables and I only need two because my RX 580 is 8 pin and 6 pin. So
What else we got? Graphics card. Are we there yet? This cable is getting all the way. And everything looks good. So we've got the 24 pin connected. We've got the front switch connected with the HD LED. We've got the front USB. We've got the front audio. We've got the CPU. And this thing is very ugly. This is the RGB for the cooler. And it's supposed to go over here at the bottom. Over there. Or over there. And I can figure it out from where Jesus. There is more on the back side. So we're done for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have some ideas for future videos, so subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this one and see you later.
what it looks like when I'm filming. Jesus. I'm so sweating right now. Probably this is the OS that I was supposed to install, but... Oh well, Windows 10 will work for now. So, maybe for future update. Look at that mess over here. Here, not so many, not so much. Over here. This is my old laptop. It's from MSI. Boxes. More boxes. More trash. Tripods. Hoverboards. Hi. 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 Uh, we've got the C Sonic GPU, not GPU, PSU. <laughs>